In this video, I will show how to create a motion simulation for a cam and slide on a foresight tool. As you can see now, we do have several of them already have motions on here. But now I'm going to apply a motion sequence to uh, this cam and this slide. So I'm going to select the last sequence in the list and hit the plus symbol to add a new sequence. And then I select what I want to simulate the motion on. I want to, uh, first I have to create the motion simulation for the cam because that's what's going to drive the slide. So I select the cam and any other plates that are going to rotate with it, any other components. Once I have the component selected, I have to tell it what type of motion. I'm going to select rotation. Then I select put focus in this box and select the rotation axis. It can be an axis or a circular edge. I'll select that circular edge. Then I have to tell it the uh, angle of the rotation because if I were to play this right now, ah, nothing is moving. That's because I did not come down here and tell it how many degrees of the press stroke do I want this to move? So 360 degrees. And if I hit play now, you can see it is moving 45 degrees and then moves back. We have to tell it to rotate 360 degrees. And hit play. And you can see it's going back and forth. When I change this option right here as to what is defining the motion in regards to the press stroke, right now it's set to stroke linear. So meaning when it goes up in the press stroke, it moves in one direction. When it comes back down, it moves in the opposite direction. We want it to move in, the, in regards to the angle of the press stroke. And now when I hit play, you'll see that it's just a continuous 360 degrees all the way around. So now we have the angle of the cam or the, mo uh, the rotation of the cam motion created. So now, and I can uh, name these sequences. So if I wanted to, I could name this one, say uh, this is the for the right slide cam rotation have that sequence selected I'll add another sequence below it by hitting the plus symbol and this one's going to be for the linear motion of the slide so now I'll select the components I want to move And we can always add more components. If we miss one of these components, we can always add them to this translation or to this motion. I'll rotate around, make sure I get all the components. I think I have them all. And for this motion simulation, we want, uh, for the motion type, we're going to use a, tra a contact translation. With a contact translation, the first thing we need to tell it is what is going to give the motion, what contact and it gives the motion. Well, that's going to be this edge on the cam. If this was not a, a one entity going all the way around, like you can see this is just a spline that goes all around single entity. When I select it, you can see it's a single entity. 
we are limited to selecting a single entity. So if this was not, this was just a series of edges, uh, we would just uh, put a, a sketch on the face of the cam right here, convert those edges, and then make those into a single spline. And then we could select that sketch entity, that single spline sketch entity. Then next I'll put focus in this box. And this is the contact entity that receives the motion. Well, that's going to be this roller, the edge of the roller right there. And lastly, I'll put focus in the last box. This is what direction do you want this slide to move in? Well, I'll select this edge. That's the direction I want to move. Again, we have to come down here and tell it how many degrees of the press stroke do we want this to move. Well, 360 degrees of the press stroke. And then when I hit play, you can see that the slide is moving in accordance to the contact with the cam as it rotates. Here we can see the cam is moving in and out. And that is how you do a motion simulation for rotation of the cam and the slide on a four slide tool.